Hello, happy Friday night. Welcome to my Zen Den. My name is Mandy Van Havermitt and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! from Gray Eagle, Minnesota. I'm so happy that you've joined me tonight. I wanted to show you um, a few ideas and I'm going to make this quick because I've got kind of a stuffy nose and it's not running right now. Um, anyhow, I want to show you a couple of ideas using the trusty tools um, set. And I want to show you now specifically because right now during celebration, so through the end of February 2024, you can earn a pack of paper for free if you order the bundle uh, of trusty tools and stamps and dies. I'm going to explain it to you after I flip the camera around because I want to show you this stuff. It is like the coolest set. It's a super cool masculine set. So let's flip the camera around and I am going to, sorry, I'm out of practice. Did you notice I've got my, um, I've got my, my camera back. I found a workaround and now I've got my, there we go. Find the right thing there. I found a workaround to get my, my camera back to this direction. Happy Friday, Joyce. Thanks for tuning in, Vicki. I'm so happy that you're here. I got my camera back to be in landscape direction. Yay, Doesn't that makes me happy. I don't know if it makes you guys as happy as it makes me, but it makes me really happy. Okay, so the Trusty Toolbox, or I'm sorry, Trusty Tools Bundle is on page 56 of the annual catalog, or of the small mini catalog. It is so neat. And if you buy the stamp set and the die bundle, you get... Um, 10% off. You save 10%, so it's $54.75. And then if you pull in celebration, so if you order this before the end of February, you can choose the Trusty Tools, uh, Trusty Toolbox Designer Series paper. And this paper is so cool, you guys, because a lot of the images on it, let me just pull out a few pieces here, a lot of the images will cut out with the dies. So like this die here for that um, hammer, well, actually, if you want to, you can, excuse me, cut it out with that die. And um, I believe the, the, the hammer, the measuring tape, the uh, wrench will cut out. And there's one more. The, it's not on this page. There's two different papers. And they've, they've got just neat. They've got really neat backgrounds that are really um, just simple. But we've got, like, screwdrivers and hammers and I just realized what this was this is actually like um, the toolboxes the really cool toolboxes I've seen some really neat um, cards made where this is like cut and designed to be a toolbox I'm so excited to make one for my husband the background this one's got some nuts and bolts and screws just really really fun paper so if you other if you're look here's the other one that's got um, the paintbrush you can cut out and the, um, oh my word. Anyhow, you can cut out all the tools. It's just the coolest paper in the world. So this is only available through the end of February. And the best part about it is it's available for free. So if you are interested in this bundle, I would get it sooner rather than later. Um, the dies are really, really fun. They're buildable. The stamp set is really neat. It does have, um, it's geared towards Father's Day, but you can choose. Uh, tonight I'm putting, I'm making a birthday card. Um, it, 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 I mean, you don't have to use just these sentiments with these images. So just keep that in mind. Thank you. And then dad in big letters, happy Father's Day. And you're the most awesome. So let's get making a card. This is the card. I got it from my friend, Brenda Cardinal. And this is the card I'm actually um, going to be, I've cased it and I'm going to show you, I changed it up a little bit because I really liked how she incorporated the, uh, designer series paper, but I changed it up just a little bit. And this is how I changed it up. I'm so excited to share with you how I made this background. Um, I used the new brayer. They brought the brayer back and I've never used a brayer before, before, literally before tonight. And I'm so excited because that is the coolest technique ever. And I changed the DSP just a little bit. We're going to change this and make it a birthday card though. So let's get cracking. Here is what we're going to need. Let's make sure you can see that. Yep. Um, here's what you're going to need for the card. You need a piece of real red, eight and a half by five and a half, scored down the middle at four and a quarter. 
and then you're going to need a piece of basic gray and this is four by five and a quarter a piece of pecan pie which is three and three quarters by five two strips of designer series paper and I don't give the measurements on these strips this one here I measured at about an inch I believe this one here is not an actual measurement because what I did is um, well let me show you the piece of paper that I cut it from I wanted the actual lines of the toolboxes so this is not quite two inches so I just lined it up uh, when I s cut it I lined it right up in the track of my cutting tool and so I just cut it that way it's not a specific um, measurement or anything like that so then I've also got a piece of basic white that's for the inside of the card and then for the sake of saving time I already um, stamped and colored uh, the hammer I, I colored that with the smoky slate blend and I believe the boho blue blend and then I used a shape from the uh, stylish shapes so I used I cut out one like this um, in basic white and of course I'm using photopolymer stamps so I'll be able to line all that up really really easy okay so here's what I want to show you though quick before um, I've got my pecan pie ink pad here and this is the brayer and I like I said it, they brought the brayer back if you have a brayer stuck back in the back of your um, of your tools your stamping tools great use that I there's probably nothing wrong with it this one I don't it is it is a really nice brayer it's kind of got like a rubbery material so it inks up really nice and smooth it's got the ends there's two different sides so this end here if you're actually brayering you can roll it super fun if you turn it this way it actually sits nicely so it's not sitting on top of your if you get it accidentally on a paper or something like that it's not gonna mark it up so I'm going to show you how I got these really fun wood grains see her Brenda's card is also using that wood grain uh, but mine you can see the wood grain in there and I'm going to show you how I did that so we're going to open up my pecan pie let's get those things out of the way and I opened up this is the timber embossing folder and I can't wait to try this with other embossing folders guys I'm so I'm so excited okay so we're going to ink up our brayer so we're just going to run it over lots of times here and see it doesn't get super inky but here's what I noticed it doesn't have to be really all that smooth because what I'm going to do is I'm inking up the side that doesn't have the Stampin' Up logo on it this here side has the Stampin' Up logo I'm going to ink up this side And I've done this before with a sponge dauber and I've actually taken the ink pad before and done this and it works it, it works just fine there's the cool part right I can set that on there it's not gonna get ink anywhere um, but I've used sponge daubers and things like that to ink up and sponges this makes it just enough so it's not making a huge mess it is so fun all right so now I've lined up my paper on this side with that line that's inside the uh, embossing folder and that just makes my wood grain run all the same direction and so now I'm going to shut it gently and then bring in my cut and emboss uh, platform and this is a 3d embossing folder so I'm using plate number one and plate number four so here's plate number one put the embossing folder in and plate number four on top this is the correct way to run the sandwich if you I mean technically this is the same thickness right but if you run it this way and your roller hits the top of this it's going to curl your embossing folder if you run it this way it's going to this is going to take the brunt of that that roller and that's not going to curl as bad it's going to save your embossing folder so let's run it through the cut and emboss machine I'm so excited to show you guys this this is just the coolest thing ever isn't that it's so much fun it's like just perfect it's not a ton of ink all over it's perfectly done I cannot wait to play with that brayer a little bit more so exciting okay so the card comes together pretty simple 
like I said, I'm making this a birthday card. So I've pulled in uh, a happy birthday sentiment. Just says happy birthday. It's from the submarine life. So just this happy birthday right there. I'm really excited to play with this set too. I just got it. Super excited. Um, so let's build our card. I'm going to close my pecan pie. Bring in a basic gray ink pad. So... And I've got some more samples too with this set and you don't need the paper to do this. So if you're watching this video on YouTube after celebration and after the paper is gone, you don't need this paper to um, make really fun cards. These are, this is a great masculine set. Um, really just a really, really good masculine set. I've also come up with a feminine. I found a soft feminine card and I'm going to share with you too this evening. Um, just a really neat, unique set and I like it, but the paper is really cool. So either way, right? Okay. So let's layer this up. And when you run, uh, I'm using a generous amount of tape adhesive on here because when you run it through a cut and emboss machine and you emboss it a lot it does warp that paper you can see it's not flat anymore right and so I want to make sure that it sticks down really really well like that that is so striking I absolutely love it so put some more adhesive on the back And let's fold our real red, grab a bone folder, crease it. That is such a striking card. It is so fun. All right. So I've got my little banner here that I've already um, cut out. I've got my happy birthday basic gray ink and the reason I chose basic gray is because it coordinates really well with this if you don't have basic gray black is just fine okay grab some dimensionals and I am on to using the edge of my dimensionals make sure you use them all up there's a border around the outside. Make sure you're using all of your dimensionals. Okay, so we'll pop that up. I did make a mess on myself. Oh no! It just shows I'm working really hard. Perfect. Okay, and now I'm going to take my hammer and I'm going to put a dimensional right at the bottom of the hammer and I'm going to put a dimensional behind the hammer head and I'm going to put a glue dot there we go on the hammer handle just to keep it down simple just like that isn't that handsome oh I love it okay now I've got a piece of scratch paper because I'm going to let's see here I'm going to grab the sentiment you're the most awesome too because if it's their birthday they're the most awesome and I've also got the wrench so you're the most awesome you guys ever do that where you put a stamp on the back of your stamp already on there? I do it quite often. All right, and then I'm going to grab the wrench and I'm just going to stamp that right down in there. Again, I'm using basic gray. If you wanted to use black or a different color, you totally could. Let's grab, I've got, let's see here, shaded spruce and uh, smoky slate. So I'm just going to color in my my tools because we're dressing up the inside of the card okay. 
And again, celebration goes through the end of February. And if you're new to celebration, what it is is it's our yearly sale that you get, um, you can choose from a selection of products. And so for every $50 you order um, in regular or in regular products, you can choose um, items from the celebration catalog, from the se selection of celebration items. And they, a lot of times, are coordinating. In, so like this tool paper, the trusty toolbox paper, is one of the selections this year. Um, some other beautiful papers, some stamp sets that are only available through the end of February. Uh, so uh, it's the only time of year that we have this sale, and it is just, it's a fun one. I look forward to it every year. So I'm actually going to do just a little bit of shading. I use the dark shaded spruce on the outside of the wrench, and then I'm using the light shaded spruce on the inside. So there's the inside of my card. Put that in here. And there you go, there's the inside. So there is our card for tonight. And that's what we mean by casing. I mean, this is, it started out with, let's see, where did Brenda's card go? It started out with one version, I changed it to another, and I changed it to another again. Here we go. So it started out with this version, and then I changed it to a thank you card. The thank you is inside the set, and it ended with this card here. So that's what I mean by casing. Make it your own, make it whatever you want it to be. Okay, I've got a couple more cards to share with you. This one here is made, um, my friend Deb Schneider created this card and I love how she used a little bit of each. Those are about one inch strips um, of that designer series paper pack. And then she did a um, measuring tape and a wrench and birthday wishes. And she, look how she cut out those little uh, screws and nuts. There's um, a die in there. And so you can use those as your embellishments super fun and then she did some of the screws and nuts and bolts down on the bottom and my friend Joanne uh, Beckerman did this one another awesome um, it probably would be a great birthday card for a masculine birthday card she used that designer series paper again and embossed enjoy your day and this is a book binding fold so it actually opens like that and it's just let's most of the paper does the work most of the work for you so great card and then this is my feminine card that I made and I love it I use that embossing folder again on the paint brushes and then a little strip of um, foil paper and then some shimmer paper from the annual catalog and so it's pretty peacock berry burst and lost lagoon and then these strips are from the inked and tiled stamp set um, so it's just like paintbrush strokes is basically what I was thinking. You could use any stamp or even if you wanted to freehand with marker. And then I put it on this uh, dazzling paper uh, background and then on black. You're the most awesome. I think that is so much fun. And so it, you can make it feminine. You can make it masculine. You can make it whatever you want. It's your stamp set. So let's flip the camera around. I hope that gave you some great ideas using the... Uh, trusty tools bundle uh, again if you want the paper you got to get it before the end of February so don't delay on that it is so fun it is such fun paper I hope you have a fantastic weekend I hope you get some crafting in and I will be back here next Friday night to stamp with you some more bye bye